The Frozen North, the name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, jewel of the north. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagonda. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city, a terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Aribeth de Tilmoran, Paladin of Tyr, and Lord Nash's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death and whatever sinister force might be behind it. So that's the setup of the game. It's basically you all met in a bar, and you're going after uh, evil guy McEvil. It's kind of that. That's kind of it. It's uh, pretty much your standard uh, D and D setup. But uh, that's kind of the point of the game. Is it was intended? Yeah. It, it, it was intended as basically a starter module. So uh, yeah. So we got ourselves some studly leather armor. Some studly leather armor. Um, no, no, no resting. Get up. You've rested long enough, Chrono. There's the character sheet. Uh, there's V. Let's see. Uh, V. Let's see. X. C. By the hells! Yep, that works. All right, so uh, there's our dude. There's a dude. We're gonna take off that leather armor now. That leather armor looks ridiculous on him. So does his regular clothes, but uh, we will we'll fix that. So uh, Pavel or Bem, whoever the fuck he is, is going to accost us as we attempt to leave. But uh, I'm going to run quickly over here. No! Fuck you! I'm not done yet! There we go. Give me the gold. Uh, he wants to talk to us, and the game want wanted to stop us there, but since I can't stand the sound of Cam Clark's voice in this game, I skipped it. God damn it. I don't. It's. I don't not like Cam Clark. It's just every time you start this game, this motherfucker has, charges towards you, and I do not want to talk to him. Finally, you're up. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. I guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the academy. That they do. They work me hard all day. Wait, what are we talking about? My name's Pavel. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the academy this morning. You're a Zoden Marino, aren't you? Okay, so up front I'm going to tell you this. There's a lot of text in this game. And I'm going to try and read uh, as much of it as I can. 
but most of the time I'm going to be giving you the basic gist of what they're saying because I'm not reading all this fucking text. Oh my god, there's so much. This game is not really very voice acted, so yeah, get used to it. Yes, I'm Azoden Marino. Is it true what they say about you? That Lady Arabeth herself ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come here for training. I've never heard of anyone being invited to train at the Academy before. Usually people are begging to get in. It must be a great honor for you. It is both an honor and a privilege for me to serve, Neverwinter. Let's see. When you have as much talent and skill as I do, you get used to having these kinds of honors. Or, who cares about honor? I just came because I sense the potential for real profit. I'm going with two. When you have as much talent and skill as I do, you get used to these kinds of honors. You're pretty full of yourself. Hope you have the skills to back up that confidence. But for some of us, things don't come that easy. My brother Bim and I were working on one of the nearby farms outside the city when we heard Lady Arabeth had put out a call for heroes to come to the aid of Neverwinter. We knew the city was suffering, but we didn't realize how bad things were until we got here. We arrived just in time before they sealed the gates and quarantined the city. Thank the gods I got accepted into the academy. I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with the plague, not with the city guards barely able to keep order anymore. I don't actually know that much about the plague. The Wailing Death is a plague worse than any recorded in the entire history of Neverwinter. The whole city has been quarantined. Nobody is allowed in or out. The Neverwinter Militia do their best to enforce the quarantine, but people don't like being trapped inside the walls of a plague-infested city. Every day, more bodies pile up in the streets and the citizens move one step closer to panic and open rebellion. Can't say I blame them. It's only been a few months and already the dead number in the thousands. I'm not correcting myself. Yeah, this is in Rise of the Red Shirt. Sudden Shumbun... Eh? God damn it! Shouldn't someone be looking for a cure? Most people have given up any hope of finding a cure for the Wailing Death. Potions and medicinal herbs do nothing, and even the prayers of the city's most powerful clergy have been ineffective. I guess that's why Lady Arabeth ordered the Academy to open its doors to new recruits. The city needs a hero, someone who can save us all from the Wailing Death. The word on the street is that Arabeth is actually working on a cure right here in the Academy, but that's just a rumor. Probably not even true. Can you tell me anything else about this plague? I don't know what more I can say about the plague. Everyone in the city is afraid of the Wailing Death. The bodies are piling up in the streets and the citizens are on the verge of panic and open rebellion. So far there doesn't seem to be any cure, and even the priest can't help those afflicted. I just hope those rumors of a cure for the plague turn out to be true. Anything else you can tell me? You could speak to my brother Bim over there by the door if you want some tips on adventuring. Otherwise, you should go see Olgerd in the next room. He's the one in charge of equipping all us recruits for our training. Other than that, I don't know what more to tell you. I'm just a raw recruit here. You're the one who's almost finished his training. Goodbye! Alright. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tongue. Yes, I suppose you need to get on with your training. You probably need to go speak to Olgerd in the next room and get your equipment and other stuff that I already told you. Blah, 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 blah. I must speak with you. All right, let's go. If you want any tips on adventuring, which I do not. What are you looking at? Fuck! Hey there. I want to talk to you. I don't! Shit. I saw you talking to my brother Pavel. My name is Bim. If you want, I can give you a short tutorial on adventuring. I'm not interested in a tutorial right now. Suit yourself. You should go through this door and speak to Ogre then. He'll get you set up with all the equipment you need to finish your training here at the Academy. Farewell, person I didn't talk to, but will certainly not be dead in the next five minutes. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Come to get yourself some supplies from old Olga, have you? Maybe. Good idea. Can't have you wandering about the streets naked. <laughs> Might give the academy a bad name. 
I'm getting the worst sense of deja vu right now. The city guard are already having enough trouble maintaining control as it is. Plague bodies piled up dozen deep in the gutters. The wailing death running unchecked through the districts. Horrible, I say. But you've heard all this before, I'm sure. Here, I've got some equipment for you. A fighter like you might find it handy in completing your training. Now, if you're ready, I'll give you a tutorial on how to access your inventory so you can use that equipment I just gave you. I already know how to work my inventory. Well then, I guess I, we don't need to go over it, do we? Oh, this might be a good time to teach you how to use the stores in the game. Uh, I have some items here you might want to purchase. Since you're part of the Academy, you get a special <clears throat> discount rate. Are you interested in seeing my store? I'll give you a quick tutorial on how they work, too. I don't need a tutorial on how to use the stores. Okay, I'm not one to go prattling on when the listener already knows what I'm saying. So, you want to see my inventory now? Yes. Great! I'm sure you'll find my price is most reasonable. When we're done, you'll find the door leading out of this room is unlocked. Alrighty. So, we're going to get rid of this fucking leather armor. We're going to get rid of the stupid short sword. We're going to get rid of our clothes. And we're going to put on new ones. There we go. So, let's see. So, this game... If this looks like the RE4 inventory nightmare to you, that's because it is. Uh, a lot of this game is managing your inventory. So, you got to kind of get used to doing that. Padded armor. I got already got chain shirt, so... Uh, that's no biggie for me. Uh, what weapons do we got? I know we won't have anything new. Double weapons. You will never see me fucking touch those ever. Uh, <laughs> fucking double axe. Double mace. Oh. God damn it. The only time you'll ever see me touch a double sword is in Fantasy Star Online. And that's because they're made of lasers. Uh... So, as a fighter, you're basically blowing your starting bankroll. Let's see. Thieves Tools plus one. Something every character should have. You're basically blowing your starting bankroll on cure potions. Because you're going to need them. So. Da-da. Da-da. That'll do. Uh, yeah, playing a fighter is pretty damn straightforward. Find shit. Kill it. Oh, this camera. All right. So you're going to see me uh, playing from zoomed out a lot. Uh, you're also going to see this game chug a bit, especially once we get into the uh, world, into the environments, hey because... Uh, you're one of the students here at the academy, aren't you? Yes. Hey, Zoden, unless I'm mistaken. I'm Berna, an instructor here at the academy. If you like, I can give you a quick tutorial on how to use your map and journal. Let's see, Not interested. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be right here to help you out. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, ma'am. All right. So, there are a few things you can do here to, uh... Get yourself some cash. Let's see. War of Light and Darkness. You can sell these books for a pretty decent amount. Uh, bookshelf. Yes, I am stealing their books to sell back to them. Welcome to D&D, &D, is all I can say. Hey, Olgerd, I've got some cool shit for you. Welcome back. So I want to see what you have for sale. All right, so. Boom. Boom. Still not much. So, uh, there's, t there's lots of other stuff, too. It's a, a good idea, and I'm stuck on the... Just click. Uh, it's a good idea to uh, explore as much as you can before triggering the... Hey, get around her. Before triggering the... Uh, ooh, book piles. Did I investigate? Oh, I've, those is, I've investigated those. Uh, before you trigger the next sequence, because in the next sequence, everybody's dead. I'm not talking to you yet. So, there's actually quite a bit you can do 
You can loot around here and sell to Olgerd. Like this stuff. What is that, acid arrow? No, oh, a magic missile. That's acid arrow. Alright. Duh, the picture of an arrow. So this is the... Uh, so this is where you'd be taking your... Uh, why, why do you want me to talk to you? Hey there. Welcome to my school of the Academy. I'm Jeru, resident master of the arcade. It's more a ceremonial title than anything else. You know, I'm just your run of the mill wizard. I'm not trying to be rude, but are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah, this is where you go to. Uh, I'd like to receive a lesson. Start. Bards and sorcerers don't have the prepare skills to cast them, but wizards can only cast spells they prepare for her hand. Jesus! To prepare a spell, you have to access your spell books. Don't do this now, or you'll break out of dialogue and have to start over. Whenever you rest. Okay, go on. Simple. Okay, he's basically, uh... Goodbye. He's basically just telling you how do you like cast spells. I already know that Ortano, stuff. For I'm gonna kill this nine. dummy. Ah. Okay. Origin of magic. Excuse me. Let's see that. Tons of stuff you can sell. So yeah, this is how you loot people. Run through and steal everyone else's shit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as far as the prologue. Get a. Hi there. My name's Keta, head of security, espionage, and intrigue here at the Academy. No need to tell me who you are. My sources are way ahead of you. My sources never figured you as the type to go in for the whole creeping cloak and dagger bit. But maybe we had you pegged wrong. So are you interested in learning a little about the arts of those who operate on the shady side of the law, or do you need something else? Rogue skills. So basically, just tells you how to play as a rogue. See you around. Alright. So there are some things to loot here. I'm a fighter, not a rogue. Hello? You need to speak to Keta. She be one in charge here. So that's what you sound like with low charisma, basically. So yeah, there's tons of stuff. Success will never be possible. No quarter! Ah. Uh, it just, uh, like, after the, after the attack. Whatever. If I were a rogue, I'm sure that would have hurt. Okay, rogue key. So let's try and open this chest. Okay, can we use the rogue key? Back, back again? Not sure what you need. You're no rogue, so there's not much I can teach you in that department. So, what do you need? Nothing. Let's see, uh... So yeah, not much we can loot there right now. Bunch of stuff in here though, or should be. Let's see, end wind. Okay, what's in the desk? I'll take that. Motherfucker! I beseech you to speak with me. I beseech you to shut up while I kill this thing. 
Kill the skeleton. Wow. He is not. My weapon. Ah, oh, fuck. I beseech you to speak with me. What? 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 Greetings and well met. I am Helen, faithful servant of Tear and devotional leader here at the academy. Uh huh. Though all are welcome in the chapel to pray and study, I am surprised to see you here. Normally, my visitors are exclusively boring people. Goodbye. Go with the blessings of Tear. All right. So let's see. All right. So we gotta go talk to Herbin. It's about time you showed up, recruit. My name is Herbin. As far as your worthless hide is concerned. I can break you in half with my mind, asshole. It's my job to teach you raw recruits some tips on combat techniques so you maggots don't get gutted out there in the real world. Well, recruit, don't just stand there with that dopey expression on your face. What's it going to be? Are you ready to begin your combat training or aren't you? What's with all the shouting? <clears throat> Sibilance. What's with all the shouting? Is this supposed to inspire me or something? You address me as sir when you open your mouth, maggot. If this plague hadn't made us so desperate for recruits, I'd boot your worthless ass out there for that type of attitude. I read that totally wrong, and I don't care. But I'm stuck with you, and I don't have to... Ah, my tongue. But I'm stuck with you, and I don't have time to break your spirit and teach you proper respect and discipline. We don't have to like each other, but you will listen to what I have to say. The information might save your life sometime, recruit, so listen up. Whenever you want to use a feeder special attack on an enemy, right-click on your opponent to bring up the menu. Then left-click on special attack. Yeah. Then left-click. I'm tired. Then left-click on the special attack icon in the lower right corner of the menu. This opens up a second menu with any feats and other shit. You follow me so far, recruit? Ugh. Sir, yes, sir. On the special attacks menu, you also see the parry icon located at the very top of the 12 o'clock position. Left click on this icon whenever you want to do stuff that does include killing shit. When parrying, you do not attack, but you are able to make an opposed check or deflect or dodge any incoming attacks that would otherwise hit you. Each round, you can parry one successful enemy attack for each attack you would normally get. If your roll succeeds by 10 or greater, you will make a free counterattack at no penalty. To return to normal combat mode, simply left click on your flow. Have you gotten that figure out, recruit? Can we move on to the next lesson? Yeah, yeah. Your weapon isn't just for killing. Sometimes it has other uses, like opening a chest or locked door. You mean killing a chest or locked door with it? If you find a lock, blah, blah, are we clear so far? I've done my part. The rest is up to you. Go speak to my assistants. Okay. So. First off, I'm going to talk to Mr. Samurai here. Dendy. So, Herbin sent you over for your combat trial, did he? Well, my name is yeah. Dendy. I specialize in melee ah. weapon combat. Are you ready to begin your final test? I'm ready for the melee combat trial. Don't worry, there's nothing to it. You and I are going to spar. I'll be in parry mode the whole time, trying to deflect your attacks. All you have to do is hit me once to pass the test. So, is this like that thing with Goku and Krillin? No, it's not like that thing with Goku and Krillin. Or, if you prefer, all you have to do is use your weapon to destroy the target dummy next to me. The choice is up to you. Either attack me, or you can attack the dummy. I hate you. My weapon to Hewitt to ineffective. Your test. What? Okay, for some reason, they think this giant motherfucker is going to be not swinging his axe, but shooting arrows at people. So, first we're going to loot the arrows. Yes, 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 yes. Then we're going to equip the arrows. And we're going to put that there, and we're going to put this here. That's a bolt, yeah, all right. So Harbin sent you over for your combat trial, did he? Well, my name is Hewitt. 
I specialize in ranged and missile weapon combat. Are you ready to begin the final test? I'm ready for the ranged and missile weapon combat trial. Don't worry, there's nothing to it. All you have to do is hit the target at the end of the hall with a missile weapon. You can grab the missile weapon from the weapon rack here beside me. Only one way out for you. Fire away whenever you're ready. Nice shot. I need to talk to you again. I guess congratulations are in order. You passed the combat trial and completed your basic training. Your days at the academy are finally over. Good, this place is boring anyways. You and me! Let's go! Evil shall never triumph! Huh. They're really getting into that practice with those combat dummies. <laughs>